If you're planning on coming out to this beautiful free camp, please note that the bridge to get in there is 3.3 metres. So you can't get through if you're taller than that. Going on a rescue mission already. Just set up camp and off we go. Do you think they've let their tyres down? No. <laughs> a couple of guys in a, a Subaru Forester. So we'll see. Yeah. Did they take their bags out to make it lighter? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, where, where were they actually going? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I've never noticed that it says unstuck on them. <laughs> yeah. We made a beer, we worked. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, sure. yeah. We made it. Yeah. Yeah. We made Thank it. Thank you. We oh. You oh. made it. Yeah. Yeah, we worked in the brewery before. Oh, oh wow. Awesome. It. So we got the lot. That's yeah, why yeah. We are heavy. Thank you. Safe travels. You'll find this beautiful location between Ingham and Townsville. Sitting on the beach, you look out at Palm Island.
somebody just eat it. up here just to dump our rubbish all the rubbish we've been collecting off the beach As you said, it could have been a kid on a bike. So do they know what happened? Yeah. Sort of, yeah. So we were just driving along super slow in first gear and we met a, another human being coming the other way on the road, flying along in his Commodore. Not only was he flying along, he wasn't even watching the road at all. He was in the all. middle of the road. He was in the middle of the road, so we moved left. And he didn't even realise till he was at our bumper well, probably a couple of meters before and he slammed his brakes on and slipped into the side of us and smashed up the side of his car a bit and whatever and scraped the side of us like <laughs> it's a sunny day it's a nice day and whatever else and he just goes oh, i couldn't see because of the sun and i'm like yeah well what happens with a kid on a bicycle but he did yeah smashed up but he's just yeah normal people oblivious what can you do the world's full of them and we were just going to get rid of our rubbish. Yeah, we were just dumping our rubbish. <laughs> well, yeah. better us than a freaking kid on a bike. Yeah, for sure. Toilets are dumped, Carl's dumping the rubbish, water's filling up, and this particular spot you can camp at if you get a permit. We're not, obviously. We're just uh, doing our regular fill up. How cool is that? It's the full green ant nest. We're in Ingham and we're just heading to that pub with no beer. That's not this one. I don't think it's this one. <laughs> but we're gonna have beer, aren't we? We're gonna have beer. It used to have no beer. Apparently that's what Slim Dusty rang sang about. <laughs> so, the pub with no beer story goes something like this. A local farmer, Dan Sheehan, rode 20 miles to town for a beer at the Day Dawn Hotel, Ingham, in 1943. 
beer was rationed because of the war and apparently the Americans had drank the pub dry the night before. When Dan heard this, he was unhappy about riding home without his beer. So he wrote a poem and he called it The Pub Without Beer. Good morning everyone. We're on a little mission today. We're trying to try and head up the beach to a creek and check it out. It's um, about one hour from low tide, so we're pretty good to hopefully head off up the beach and not get stuck. The sand here is very, very soft and it's got a big angle on it. Both things make it pretty hard for the truck. But for lunch today, we're going to be doing the travel buddy and I've got some leftovers that I've put in our takeaway containers whack them in there hundred and fifty turn it on for an hour and a half we're all done. We've got a little problem with Mrs. Bobblehead. She's got a bit of a lean happening. I'm not sure whether you can see that. Uh, the Queensland sun's just a little bit too hot for her legs <laughs> and they keep bending. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to heat them back up and uh, bend them straight again. In the meantime, we'll just have to change her name to Eileen. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was a mum. It was very close. Just checking the depths. I'm only joking. It's a big nag into coming up and just yeah, get out and drive along here. So today the tides aren't moving too much, so yeah, we've come out. It looks good, except for all the little crabs. We don't want to kill them.
this all goes underwater, does it? Oh, way down there, yeah. So we come around and around, yeah. Punch my crocs. Yes. That sun is warm. Sure is. There's some big mud flats over there. Looks like a desert. Look at the sand. There's sand dunes near the water. That's weird. Oh, that middle part would be soft, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it. Let's see. You <laughs> never know unless you go. Super soft. <laughs> Pretty twitchy crossing it. <laughs> For about the first five metres until we got stuck. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh. The more you dig, the further down it would go. You have to go and get wood. Exactly. Yeah, it's not like there's a tree around to, <laughs> to winch off. Winch off. Cal put our lunch into the travel buddy because he thought we were going to be out for way longer. By the time we get back to camp, we'll be able to have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's I not as far as we thought. I thought it was further. I thought we might have more difficulties, but <laughs> never seen it. We haven't got back yet. <laughs> never know what could happen on the way back. Made it back to camp and it's lunch time now. Take a look at it. Mm. Hot stuff. 
hot at? Hey, hey, hey. That is really hot. Yummy. Chicken stir fry. Nice. Let's have a look at this one. Looks like takeaway. Yum, thanks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell and remember, we always love a thumbs up. If you'd like to be more involved, check out our Patreon page or our website.